Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. This portion is brought to you by Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter. Yamaha Marine and the next generation of V6 offshore outboards. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Even though most of the country is still in the icy grip of winter, anglers are beginning to think about spring fishing. And just in time, boat shows around the country are gearing up. You know, there's no better time than at a boat show to really just explain new models and new features for a Ranger boat. And you take the boat I'm leaning against here. This is a new Z118. It's brand new for this year. And I think, to me, it's one of the more exciting boats that we've got to introduce in the last decade because what it does is it takes the characteristics that have really made the Z Comanche series so popular among all the tournament anglers, and it gives that in a package that's affordable for the family guy, the serious weekender, and so you can literally get in this boat in the $30,000 range. And so now a consumer, as I said, that might be on a budget, that might be wanting to, you know, maybe he's not as avid, uh, not a serious competitive angler, but you've still got all those features and benefits. And so as you look at the boat, it's 18 foot, almost 19 foot long. It's got a 150 horsepower rating. It's standard with all those features that we normally see in a Ranger, such as that Minn Kota trolling motor. It's got a new console system, and this console really was birthed with the Z521 and that gives an angler the ability to have good wind protection, to back mount his electronics, and to be safe and secure while he's out on the water. Additionally, it's got a center rod box, which is a, it's a best in class feature. It's only available in this Z118 Ranger. Can you get a center rod box? So this angler can put upwards of 20 rods in this one 18 foot boat. So standard with all those other features along with the Ranger Trail trailer that you can never overlook, your choice of engine power. I'd, I'd recommend if you're looking for a nice competitive boat in the 18 foot class, don't overlook the Z118 Ranger. For more information on the Ranger Z118, check out rangerboats.com. Yamaha Outboards have made a big splash with their new SHO series, and now they're rolling out some new additions to their saltwater line. Let's check in with Yamaha Motors' David Mueller. Hi. What you're looking at is Yamaha's all-new V6 offshore four-stroke. It's a 4.2 liter, making it the biggest six-cylinder four-stroke uh, offshore outboard out there. This particular unit is a 300 horsepower, as you see it's configured in twins. What makes these engines so unique amongst a number of other things is it's very, very lightweight. It's only 558 pounds for the unit, okay? So you're looking at a little bit over 1,100 pounds right here for a pair. Another thing that makes this power head so unique is the plasma fused sleeveless cylinders that's inside of it. With the plasma fusion process, we've replaced the conventional steel cylinder liners. That saves not only a tremendous amount of weight, but it also adds a tremendous amount of fuel efficiency. That results in what's known as micro-textured cylinder sleeves, which contribute to outstanding fuel economy with these engines. This boat carrying 285 gallons of fuel, basically, at a, at we found the most optimum cruise area was 3,800 RPM, run about 32 mile an hour, and it gave you a little over 1.5 mile a gallon. So basically, you're gonna be able to go over 400 miles. I don't think there's many people who want to run a boat over 400 miles in one day, so it gives you more range than probably the legs you've got to want to go. You know, I think that when you say uh, the name Yamaha, uh, expect a lot because that's what you get delivery on. If you want to know more about these engines, go to discoverv6offshore.com. That's Yamaha's microsite, or you can go to yamahaoutboards.com and look for the microsite on the V6 offshore engine. The new V6 Offshore is creating quite a buzz, and we're looking to give it a test run. So when we were invited to join Captain Roland Leal on a quick fishing trip, we loaded up our gear and climbed aboard. We've got a big variety of, 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 of species. I mean, we can go out and get pelagics, get wahoo, you know, we can get dolphin anywhere, tuna. Look at all those birds. Let's see if we can do something here. What we're doing is trying to scout around a little bit here, best I can gather from watching these fellas do what they do, and uh, see if we can't raise something to the surface. After a short run, Captain Leo found some birds working on a school yeah, of feeding tuna. Like he put the boat into position, and the game was on.
I went back to my flash mentality. Try to match the hatch. It looked like small white bait they were hitting. So I went down to a small, just a white 5 8 ounce jig. Nice little pro fish jig, and we had we had some music playing. I get him a little bit closer to the boat. He'll play it again. Okay, you say we're in some nice little football sized tunes. You hear that? <laughs> he doesn't want to play by the rules. From what I understand, talking to the captain and other things, uh, basically those. Any fork tail fish is a good fight, regardless of what you're catching them on. And uh, I got to tell you, it took me uh, it took me a little bit to get him to the surface, but fortunately he ran out before I did. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of that one. Oh, he doesn't like that extra pressure. Oh, what oh, happened? Pop it. Pop it right there. You know the best part about that? It's a clean break. There's no squiggly. That means my knot held up, the line didn't. <laughs> Learned a lot. Uh, the fish hitting the surface, uh, learning to watch for the birds, looking for the bait fish. It is a, uh, a new and exciting world for me, and it was a great time. We didn't have much time, so after a few casts, we left them biting and headed back to the marina. The new Yamaha 4.2 liter V6 300 outboards performed flawlessly on this trip, and we'd like to thank Captain Leo for taking the time to show us around. For more information on the complete line of Yamaha motors, we encourage you to visit their website at yamahaoutboards.com. While you're online, check out rangerboats.com to see the all-new Ranger Z118. If you're in the market for a tournament-ready, entry-level boat, this may be the one for you. We'll be right back with more from Americana Outdoors.